one-handed knot tying. Okay, here's the first row where the tail gets brought in one direction, and this is the opposite row where the tail gets brought in the other direction. And so on this first row, the loop gets made over the index finger, and then on the opposite row, the loop gets made over the pinky finger. And so here the tail gets brought in front and then out the back. And then in this one, the tail cuts pushed to the back and then brought out towards the front. And so the keys are that the alternate throws are symmetric and opposite, and then on alternate throws, the tail goes to the opposite side. And so on the first throw, the loop gets made around the index finger, and then the tail gets flipped in and pulled down. And then the next throw gets made around the fifth finger, and the tail gets flipped again and pulled in the opposite direction. And so here around the index finger, the tail gets flipped forward and then pulled back out. Now around the edge of the hand, the tail gets flipped backwards and pulled back down. And so in slow motion, you can see on the first throw, the tail gets flipped forward and then pulled back out, and pulled down. And then on the opposite throw, the loop gets made around the edge of the hand, and the tail gets pushed backwards and then brought down in the opposite direction. And so here we have the same one-handed tie where you have the suture still attached to the instrument. Okay, the instrument stays in the right hand, and the tying gets done by the left or non-dominant hand. Same alternating throws, and you end up with the same nice square knot. So here are some of the problems that can happen. Here's where you throw the stitch in your right hand, you put the instrument down, and you pick up the suture and you try to throw the one hand to tie with the right hand, you can see that it doesn't come down square. Here you have the one hand to throw, but you started not cross, so you try to cross it and you take your left hand and you keep the tail on the same side, it doesn't come down square. Here you have the first throw is good, but then instead of bringing the purple strand to the opposite side, you keep it on the same side, and so it doesn't come down square. You can see it almost looks like a straight line. Okay, so s here this throw is okay. It's a little twisted, but now instead of bringing the purple across, you keep it the same way, and you can see it's like a straight line. Now, if you have good alternating, alternating throws, even if it doesn't look like it, here you see that these throws are put in quickly. The right and left hands stay on the same side, but they're going slightly up and now slightly down and then back up, and then back down, so the throws are alternating in each direction. So the same thing here, where you have the instrument still attached, the throw goes down, and then up, down, and then up, and so even though your right hand stays on the right, the left on the left, it's still alternating.